180 kilo bench press. Let's go! Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. All right, all right. Another day, another workout. Today, we're hidden bench and we're doing a bit of chest and a little bit of back as well too. There's a great exercise. So before I get into my bench press today, I started off with some warm-ups and warming up on the uh, seated row is a great exercise because I'm basically getting the antagonist muscles ready. So by warming up the antagonist muscles, I'm keeping my um, opposite muscles fresher, which is obviously... Um, going to help with my bench press so usually warming up my back muscles as i would say and say which are opposite muscles um it's going to it's going to greatly improve my bench press so this is one reason i actually love warming up my bench sometimes if i have enough time uh with my back muscles first before i progress into it as well too of course you can do other things like in, um, warming up your rotators so you get them all ready before you go into any sort of heavy bench press so basically 12 reps of this and then we also warm up our upper back muscles as well too so i've got a v bar lat pull down and with this kind of warm up it's all about focusing on that stretch and squeeze so a few times you would actually see me stop um, and just get that nice stretch in the muscle that's what it's about rather than going for even time and attention it's just again just pumping as much blood in there making sure you're ready so if in any case your body goes through that range of motion you know you're set okay so my first exercise of course is the bench press so i did two sets of this and two sets on the seated row and it was awesome it was a great start to my bench workout today so as you guys saw in the start i did a 180 kilo bench press but today i was doing 180 kilo bench press not just for one rep but for three sets as well too so i can't wait for you guys to see this as i dig deep into it but before that even on the bench press we still got a warm up today was a very rough warm up i decided to actually warm up by starting on 60 kilos not all with the bar um you know, I felt like a very badass doing that, but it did not actually save me well. I actually destroyed my warm-up purpose. I usually like to warm up with the bar, but I kind of thought, you know what, skip the bar, go to 60 kilos. At the end of the day, the bar doesn't serve as a purpose, but the bar is awesome to warm up with because actually is great for even like your rotators and all the smaller muscle groups as well. You can pump out a good amount of reps and get them all ready and all warm. So, of course, my second set, I'm already jumping onto two plates, which is 100 kilos uh, for those of you that are not American. Uh, and this is awesome. Like, you know, that, that felt good, but I, I thought it was still tough. Okay. Now, jumping straight from that to 120 in my third set wasn't a very smart idea. But, hey, your boy is like, look, I'm going to do it. So, what I wanted to do with this one was I was just trying to get as much control, get some pauses, in, and then once I could feel it, I'll just pump him out. Very, very low reps with these warm-ups as well too, which was awesome because I am going for very low rep rather than exhausting myself out. Now, it's three plates, 140 kilos. So with this one, I could have even just done one of that and I should have been fine. But I decided to do a few more just to get a good feel of the weight. So now up to 160 kilos. Uh, getting those, that weight on now. It gets a little bit serious once it starts to get heavy like this. So I have to be focused on my setup. And I don't know what was with me today. My form was literally out. Like it, was, it wasn't it was the best today. I'll be honest with you. It wasn't the best. I, I really did struggle. Uh, but I always got to push through. That's just in my nature to push through. So this is 170 kilos. Last week I was doing this for doubles. This was one. And this felt hard. So I, at this point I was already in disbelief. I was like... I don't even know if I'm going to get a 180 kilos for one, to be honest. So, we're going into my first set. I didn't really want, um, have enough rest breaks for this one. And this was a struggle to the point where um, K had to actually touch the bar for that, which I personally, if I was to count a 1RM, I wouldn't count that. So, I, I said to her, look, next one, no touching the bar, no matter how much. Let the bar just fall on me and... You know, you got to do what you got to do. If you're going to die, you're going to die. So, yep, we did that. That was smooth. That was a nice, smooth one. Second set. Now, 
That's it. This is where it started getting hectic. And when you are you guys are doing any sort of singles, have enough for it. That's my piece of advice to you, okay? And this is where I messed up. So I went in, boom, and oh my, look at that. That literally was taking like 10 million years to come up. And that's at that point, I was like, whoo, I see the heavens. All right, so drop the weight a little bit and then um, did a few reps as well. I found a random guy at the gym and he decided to help spot me uh, because Kay was in the middle of a workout as well too. So I didn't want to um, bother her too much. Now, onto some pen Leroy's just for explosiveness as well. Getting those five reps in and again, working those antagonist muscles. So I'd already finished with my bench press. Increase the weights on pen legs because obviously that was a little bit too easy. Still focus on that explosiveness. Um, with the workout and all of this was a nice little uh you know power movement power accessory movement as well too to complement other exercises like for this the pen leg com complements my deadlifts but again i've got all of this structured in the program so uh you know i have certain things i can work on on certain days that's why it might be a bit confusing for you guys seeing me do some back movements here on chest day but it's all part of the program, guys. That's 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 all good. So yeah, of course, hitting a few different angles with the pen lay. Uh, I try not to get too much of a drive from my legs, but now watching back on this video, that's why it's good to record your workouts. I can see that, so I remember that for next time. Now this was a very interesting one. I was actually I missed I misread the program. I was supposed to be doing fifteen reps, and I decided to <laughs> end up doing twenty. But you know. The reason why I did that was I think I got 18 reps on four, on 40 kilo shoulder press in my last videos. So I was like, well, I should be able to do 20 easy. You know, I've done actually more reps on that than this. Not after I've benched 180 kilos for three sets. But I was like, you know what? Then I remembered that I was actually combining this with a squeeze press. So <laughs> this that wasn't it. You know, after this, I had to hit 12 reps on the squeeze press as well too. And yeah, and this was basically the roist of me. Like this actually roisted my chest and I could actually feel like I could see the light there. So <laughs> it was good though. It was really good. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it still pushed me to my limits. And that's exactly what you want out of a workout. So you got to remember to prioritize things like that. That's very important as well. It's very easy not to. All right. So next set, I didn't have too much of a rest break. Went for 15 reps. And then my last set, I went for eight reps. And, you know, just keeping that rest break a little bit shorter, going for a little bit more um, time and attention work was great. It was actually amazing. Um, I could really pump the blood in there. I could really feel it. And I felt like even though I had a very low rep workout to start with, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it was ending on with some very high rep, high volume. So I got that whole balance. I got that whole mix up as well and i got every single muscle group involved and i got the, what i want out of my workout it wasn't just a power session but it's also power and hypertrophy so i'm, I'm basically working in both modes but damn this was actually um intense i could really feel this and every single rep i could feel that power behind it. and this with minimal rest oh my this was actual torture i only got eight reps on this one it was brutal, but I loved it. Just exactly how I liked it. So it was it was awesome. Like, you know, I could really feel the pump in this one as well, especially having to combine. Even my combined sets were pretty brutal. So when I even got into my squeeze press, that actually hurt quite a bit. But like I said, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it, you know. You always got to push yourself uh, when you can. You know, it's only a, a few minutes in the day that you're training when you get to do something that you absolutely love i mean that's why I, I love anyway so you see with that i stopped and then i started again because i'm like i'm gonna get all the rest of my reps in but it was exciting i pushed myself and i got no regrets at all and that's how you should always train now we had reverse flies for our rear delts, okay? This is the back of our shoulders. You've been hitting a bit of like pull movements with our back. Now it's time to hit those tiny little muscles that everyone decides to ignore. And one of the things I talked about in one of my shoulder workouts was it's also very important to train your rear delts and it's very often missed. And it's a big, very, very major cause of shoulder issues when your rear delts are under trained. So, it's brilliant that I've got to include it in this program to actually have some a little bit of rear delts 
uh, you know, even on a non-shoulder day. So this was awesome. And this was really, really good to give my triceps a little bit of a break before I hit them up again. So this is pretty cool. I could really feel the burn. And guys, if you're watching this, please watch this to the end so YouTube can boost my algorithm. And I appreciate everyone so far that's been watching this. That's 10 on post notifications. That's making the most out of this and getting these out. Now, tricep extensions on the cables i could really feel this my arms were roasting with this and the good thing about this is i could actually increase the weight slowly as well too and get that control feel those muscles actual stretch squeeze but this was very light for me so of course i had to increase the weight afterwards as well too but it was good fun could really get that stretch and squeeze stretch squeeze stretch squeeze it's something that you guys want to engrave in your head when you do most of your workouts because this can help you quite a lot you want to be able to stretch that muscle squeeze that muscle and basically put it under more time um, and increase the tension over the time period so this is a great way to grow in general how to grow your muscle this is how we grow our muscle we stretch we squeeze we go through a good range of motion as well too sometimes we go through a smaller range of motion to keep the tension on but overall it just comes down to overall time and the tension on the muscle so this is some of the biggest things to consider this was my last set got a nice squeeze in there got that feel could really really push myself and it's a great finisher i mean who doesn't like to finish off with a nice little tricep pump so this was an overall it was a great workout i was a little bit disappointed with my lifts in the start but it came together at the end with my bodybuilding train thanks so much guys i appreciate it much love and respect peace